I'm Jonathan Hemus, I'm the Managing Director of Insignia. We're a specialist crisis management consultancy that works with leaders of businesses around the world to help them do and say the right things on the worst days of their business lives. That's everything from catastrophic accidents to cyber attacks to environmental incidents or product defects. Um, and that's through crisis management planning, training, exercising and sometimes advice. And I'm very uh, pleased and proud and still a little amazed to say I'm also an award-winning author uh, of the book Crisis Proof. It feels incredible to be uh, an award winner at the Business Book Awards. It is something that I never in my wildest dreams could have imagined happening. Uh, two years ago, I couldn't even imagine having written a book, let alone be shortlisted for, award, for an award let alone actually winning an award. So um, the award itself is, is fantastic. Even more important is the impact that the book is having on the people that, that read it. But I have to say it is, it is gratifying, it is exciting, and it's truly amazing to have that, have that accolade. I think every organisation, every business has the potential to suffer a crisis. It doesn't matter whether you work in professional services for a charity, manufacturing, travel, tourism, financial services. Every organisation is vulnerable to a crisis and sadly I think the world is getting even riskier year by year and clearly we've seen that uh, recently with the pandemic which has been a crisis that the whole world has been facing together. So I think there is increasing recognition of the need to be ready to respond to a crisis because in my experience it's not having a crisis which damages or even in some cases destroys an organisation, it's how the organisation responds to the crisis that will determine whether it has a negative effect or actually in some cases because of the brilliance of your response actually has a positive impact on the reputation of the organisation. So I think, you know, people recognise it's a riskier world. They recognise that the damage caused by a crisis can be intense. And so they are waking up to the idea of planning, training, exercising and being ready to do the right thing should the worst occur. I guess my passion uh, the reason I work in crisis management is because I hate seeing good businesses damaged by a mishandled crisis. And more than that, what I really, uh, what really saddens me is seeing that business's stakeholders harmed by a mishandled crisis. So employees who may lose their jobs, customers who may not be able to get the products or services that they want communities who may be devastated by an environmental incident and so my passion is to end the needless damage of a crisis and I think this book talks to uh, clients and other individuals who share that same passion who want to do the right things when a crisis happens but perhaps don't quite know how to set about uh, doing that so I think it's built on the work that we're already doing with existing clients, but it's taken that message to a wider audience as well. I am driven by a passion to avoid the needless damage caused by a crisis. I've seen over the years far too many organisations harm themselves, harm the value of their business, harm their reputations, but even more importantly, cause harm to their stakeholders because they simply didn't know what to do when a crisis happened, um, or they did know, but they failed to deploy uh, an appropriate response. So writing this book, for me, is about making a difference. 
it's about giving knowledge, tools, skills, practical advice to reduce the number of organisations that make those mistakes because they are all avoidable mistakes. So writing this book, uh, I guess, is evangelism, really. Um, you know, I lecture at universities because I want the crisis managers of the future to have those skills. And the book is just another way of helping me in my quest to help businesses and organisations to be ready, to be prepared and to make sure that they thrive when a crisis happens and that their stakeholders are left unharmed. Yes, one of the things I noticed when I looked at other crisis management books, because I'd thought about writing a book before, but I guess previously I'd thought, who needs another crisis management book? Actually, when I looked at the other books out there, there are some fantastic books already on crisis management, but they tend to fall into one of two categories. Either they are written for crisis management specialists, someone whose job is head of crisis management at a very big organisation or maybe is a business continuity consultant, or they're academic and it's the theory of crisis management. What I have found in my career is that often responsibility for crisis management is actually given to very busy, very well uh, respected executive within the organisation who takes on crisis management in addition to their day job. So they may be the head of communications, they may be the head of health and safety or risk or security or HR. And they've got a very busy life without taking on crisis management, but they've been given this huge responsibility for crisis management as well. And they know that whilst this is because they are respected and trusted within the organisation, if they get it wrong, that's also not great both for them and for the organisation. So this book is designed for the non-crisis management specialist the person who nevertheless has been given responsibility for crisis management within their organisation and needs a framework, insight, tools, checklists to help them succeed in that role and to help make their organisation crisis proof. So I started writing the book between two and three years ago and I made, should we call it, gradual progress. In January 2020 I decided that I was going to get this book written and I took myself away for a week to Devon. Um, there was nobody else in the village in which I stayed, it was far from holiday season but it was the place where I really began to write the book and the peaceful environment, the space, the time, actually the wonderful views as well, enabled me to make significant progress in that one of the very first weeks of January 2020. And then the weeks that followed, I gradually made more progress and then the pandemic struck and lockdown occurred and I thought, right, Let's really get on with it. There is no more important time to get this book out than now. And, you know, the pandemic clearly has been horrendous and has affected us all in many ways and has you know, tragically taken, taken lives. But there are opportunities and positives that have come out of it. And my opportunity was to knuckle down, have a little bit more time to get the book written. So um, it's been in various stages of being written for more than two years, kick-started in January and fully committed to in March when, when lockdown occurred. Being a Business Book Award winner means a tremendous amount to me. Um, personally, it is validation for the work that I do and for the book itself. 
I am driven to make a real difference to our clients and indeed as many people as possible. I really care about helping organisations prepare for a crisis. So writing the book was a step on that journey. The validation but also the profile that winning the Business Book Awards is, as I say, gratifying from a personal point of view. But what I sincerely hope is that it also means that the book can be taken to an even wider audience. Um, and if every person that reads it takes one, two, three or ten things from it that make a small or a large difference to their organisation doing the right thing when the worst happens, then my job is done and the value of the award will be unknown to me because I'll never know that that's happened. But that for me really is, is the value of the book and the value of the award itself. Absolutely, I would encourage other entrepreneurs to write a book. We all have our own stories. We all have our own expertise. And because we've built up that expertise over many, many years, we sometimes take it for granted. And frankly, I have been um, surprised, sometimes overwhelmed by the positivity of the feedback to the book because what's in it is what I've learned over 30 years but to me now is second nature and there must be thousands if not millions of other entrepreneurs who have similar expertise in their field that they see as being routine, it's just what they do or what they know but there are many people out there that could benefit from that expertise that don't have the same knowledge and insights that they do uh, I also think it's a great way of crystallising uh, your approach, your, 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 your offering. So it actually made things even clearer in my mind in terms of the value that we were offering to, um, to clients. And I guess the final reason is, it's a bit of a cliche now, but it is a bit of a legacy as well. You know, the book will live on, there will be people who read the book in the future who I've, who I've never met and I think for any entrepreneur, I think almost by definition entrepreneurs are seeking to create things and to create something but also encapsulate it within a book I think is a really fantastic thing to do. A lot of other crisis management books focus almost entirely on what you do, what you should do when the crisis has happened. In my experience, the most important thing is what you do before the crisis. What you do before the crisis will determine how successful you are in responding to the crisis. So the focus of Crisis Proof is on planning, how to develop ways of working, processes, principles, checklists, which will enable you to make purposeful progress during a crisis. It focuses on training because having the right people with the right knowledge and skills is essential in a crisis. A plan isn't enough. And it focuses also, for example, on rehearsal. The best way of being ready for a crisis is to have practised through scenario-based exercises to experience what it feels like to manage a crisis before the real crisis strikes. So Crisis Proof very much focuses on crisis preparedness. There is a chapter on crisis response, but I think it fills a real gap. And for me, a critical gap, which is about preparing yourself before the event, because it is that that really determines how successful you will be when the crisis strikes.